What's up? Welcome to Fight City Gym Talk. Let me explain to you why fighting is the greatest sport of all time, period. No questions asked. First things first, fighting is more than just sporting. It transcends sports. If you ask me, I'd put it more in a category of like prayer and meditation, and I'll explain why a little bit later. But fighting is the greatest sport of all time. One of the main reasons I believe fighting can easily be categorized as the greatest sport of all time is because it's probably the oldest sport of all time. You don't need equipment. You don't need balls, but you do need balls, but you don't need like a basketball, baseball. You get what I'm talking about. So you don't need equipment to fight and anyone can just do it so long as they're pissed off at somebody else or anyone has to do it so long as someone's trying to attack them. I just have to believe that anciently there were probably kids and teenagers in all sorts of cultures and civilizations that wanted to know who the best fighter was. Why not? Best fighter would get to be the alpha male, get the girls, get the food, get the farms. The best fighter would have it made, right? It's my opinion that I can't see how ancient civilizations wouldn't have some form of fighting. Yet yeah, fighting would be incredibly dangerous, right? Like every time you get into a fight with your buddies to try to prove something, you know, have a broken something, a cut something. And back then broken, broken bones and cut faces could turn into infections or disfigured for the rest of your life. So there had to be a safer way. And I truly believe that's where a lot of martial arts come from is people needed a safer way to express their dominance. Thus, we get a lot of these grappling martial arts. Thus, we get a lot of these martial arts where you show off through athleticism, backflips, high kicks, stuff like that. And now people are like, oh, I'm not messing with that guy. So it's my opinion that we all want to know who the best fighter is without the consequences that fighting brings. And as it, ha it hasn't been until this modern era that we can send guys in to fight, like in an MMA cage with a few rules. And if they come out with broken, dislocated, and cuts, we can get them fixed up pretty quick. Not that big of a deal. So. It's my opinion that fighting is probably the oldest sport of all time. Always has been, always will be. Second, I believe fighting is probably one of the first things that we engage in as kids that could be considered a sport, right? Like, yeah, kids might pick up a ball and throw it. And you're like, oh, the kid's going to be good at shot put. Maybe, but they had to have a ball to do it, right? They had to have some equipment. Kids don't need any equipment to fight. They just get pissed off. And they start grabbing, pulling, clawing, then one smacks the other one, then one kicks the other one, and next thing you know, you're fighting. I've got three kids, 10-month-old, 2-year-old, and a four, three, almost 4-year-old, and they fight all the time. Now, it's not full-out blown fights. It's They scrummage, they get mad, they claw, especially my 10-month-old. My 10-month-old is crazy. She'll gouge the eye of my 2-year-old, not even feel bad about it. She might be weird. But the fact is, kids fight, always have fought, always will fight. So, oldest sport and arguably one of the first sports or things that could be considered a sport that you ever engaged in when you were a kid. I also remember wrestling when I was super young, just all the time with my cousins and brothers. So, is it real fighting or is it just playing to help prepare us for what would possibly be a necessary fight in the future. And we see animals do this all the time. Dogs, cats, they, they play as puppies and kittens because when they grow up, they might really need to fight for breeding rights, territory, stuff like that. So here we are, oldest sport, probably one of the first things that could be considered a sport when we're a young kid. I also want to talk about how We've always been told to not do it. Even my kids, I'm, I'm telling you, they're always screaming, clawing, punching, kicking. I'm pulling them off each other, like, knock it off, be nice. And we're constantly teaching our kids to not fight, yet we still do it. And fighting is one of the fastest growing sports of all time. I just think it's really unique when you put those three things together. It's ancient. We do it when we're extremely young, and we will do it even though we're told not to do it. So not only is it considered, say, like a sport, but it's also considered a form of self-defense that could possibly save your life one day. And then I'm also going to put it back into that category of prayer and meditation where I think, man, I can't tell you how many, how many times I've came into the gym 
completely stressed about my problems, family, life, money, whatever. And then all it takes is a sparring round or two and the whole world is okay. The whole world's fine. All I got to do, and it's not even sparring. Sure, sparring is great. The punching, like you only have one thing to worry about. Hitting someone in the face, not getting hit in the face. But then even just grappling. If I just do some jujitsu rounds, all of a sudden, everything just goes away. And I'm sure a lot of sports have that similar aspect to it. But I, I just think that fighting is probably a little bit more unique in the fact that there's quite an adrenaline dump when you're sparring, competing, grappling against someone that's your same level. And you don't know if today's going to be the day that they choke you out and punch you in the face, or if you're going to choke them out, punch them in the face. And there's a real adrenaline dump. And there's also a real sense of peace when it's, when it's done. Even if you get punched in the face, even if you get choked out, you're still high fives, what's up, hugs at the end. Thanks, man. I really appreciate the rounds. So it's like in fighting transcends just being a regular sport it is more like prayer meditation it is absolutely self-defense and that is why without a doubt fighting is the greatest sport of all time